Hello guys, in today's video we're going to check out the top 5 Sony cameras in the market for this year. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability and more. To see the price and find out more information about these Sony cameras, you can check out the description below. Also, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with the latest technology reviews. Ok, so let's get started with the video. At number 5, it's the Sony RX106. The RX106 is the latest edition of Sony's RX100 series of pocketable high-end compact cameras. The RX106 retains the excellent 315 embedded phase detect autofocus point system of its predecessor, which means a confident focus performance in both stills and video. Design-wise, the RX106 is a tiny camera with a minimal footprint, while it feels well-made with a slick metal chassis, has an assuring heaviness and a compact size. Just like its predecessor, the outer metal is relatively thin and susceptible to impacts. To continue, on the top surface you'll find a dedicated mode dial, a power button, a shutter with a zoom collar and a button for the pop-up flash. Additionally, the rear of the camera body is mostly taken up by the 3-inch LCD screen along with a selection of small and quite fiddly buttons that surround the thumb wheel, while the size of the screen is remarkably fantastic. For your information, the RX6 features the same textured free-rotating programmable control ring around its lens as the Mark V, while the dial's role depends on which shooting mode you're in, but it can be customised to control a range of different functions. To be more specific, the rotating control is a useful feature to have, as it's especially helpful for controlling lens zoom, aperture and exposure compensation. Furthermore, the RX106 features a pop-up viewfinder in the top left corner, which houses an XGA OLED 2.359K dot panel with 0.59 magnification. Connectivity-wise, inside the two small flaps on the right side of the body, you'll find two physical ports, such as a micro HDMI and another for micro USB. Also, for vloggers and videographers, there's a 1,228,800.3 inch screen that can tilt up by 180 degrees to directionally face the subject, and in a first for the series, it's also touch sensitive. Last but not least, the battery of the RX106 can last up to 240 shots per charge, which is quite normal for a camera of this size and price range, and considering all its features, it's relatively good. To conclude, if you're looking for a pocket-friendly camera that packs many interesting features and fluid performance, this could be your ideal choice. At number 4, it's the Sony A7 Mark III. The Alpha 7 III is one of the best mirrorless cameras ever produced by Sony, and if we add the fact that it was released this year, that means it has the latest technologies. From a design perspective, this particular model uses the 28-70mm lens and has a durable yet handsome weather-sealed construction, making it ideal for shooting in different weather conditions. At the back, positioned on the top sensor, is the OLED electronic viewfinder with a resolution of 2.36 million dots, while slightly below you can see the 3-inch tiltable touchscreen with 921,000 dots, which will offer you great support while working in both high and low angles. Moreover, the connectivities include two SD card slots, a USB Type-C port, built-in microphone and headphone sockets, an HDMI output and a durable battery that will offer you enough power to shoot up to 710 photos on a single charge. But let's talk about performance. The Alpha 7 III comes with a back-illuminated 2.42 megapixel Exmor R CMOS sensor that's paired with a front-end LSI so the final result would be a doubled readout speed of the image sensor. In addition, let's not forget the well-known Bions X processing engine, which according to the manufacturer, will boost the processing speed at around 1.8 times if you compare it with Sony's Alpha 2. When it comes to the ISO range, this camera has a default ISO range of up to 51,200, however you can expand it up to 204,800, which is awesome, considering that you won't have any difficulty shooting in various conditions. In terms of video recordings, the Alpha 7 III can deliver 4K2 or 3840 by 2160 pixels, which is approximately twice the amount of data required for 4K movies, so your videos will have a real cinematic look. Overall, the Alpha 7 is worthy of considering, especially if you're keen to invest in a high-end camera that has enormous potential. At number 3, it's the Sony A99 Mark II. 
The Sony A99 Mark II can capture high-quality 42.4 megapixel RAW images at a very impressive burst rate. It has an excellent hybrid phase detect autofocus system to back up the fast capture speeds, while it makes the A99 Mark II an excellent SLT camera. So let's jump into the action and reveal what makes it so special. To continue, the sensor features a gapless design for maximum light gathering efficiency and includes on-chip phase detection autofocus pixels, which we'll come back to in a moment. Additionally, the sensor's sensitivity range encompasses ISO 100 to 25600 equivalents by default and can be expanded to cover everything from ISO 50 to 102400 equivalents. To be more specific, at its fastest, you'll be able to capture as many as 12 frames per second with both autofocus and auto exposure adjustments between frames. What I like to mention as well is that an even better shooting experience can be had if you want to dial the burst capture rate back a little. Sony notes that the A99 II has minimal display lag at a capture rate of 8 frames per second thanks to a reworked electronic viewfinder algorithm. With the Sony A99 II, the assembly debuts a new 5-axis in-body image stabilization system tailored specifically for A-mount cameras, which means that the Sony A99 Mark II's image stabilization system can correct for XY translational motion as well as for pitch, yaw and roll. And like the A7 Mark II system, it's said to have a 4.5 stop corrective strength. When it comes to its body construction, the A99-2's brand new body is said to be resistant to both dust and moisture. While among the changes, the A99-2 has reworked the front panel silent multi-controller dial since it now offers a usable selector detent and can be used to control the aperture, shutter speed, ISO sensitivity, exposure compensation, autofocus area and more. Furthermore, the Sony A99 II is the company's first full-frame camera to sport its 4D Focus AF system, which pairs a 79-point dedicated phase detection autofocus sensor with a total of 399 on-chip phase detection points. Last but not least, battery life is CIPA rated at 490 shots per charge, definitely more than enough. To conclude, Sony's A99 II is definitely a must-have since it packs more than the price itself would convey and has impeccable performance. At number 2, it's the Sony Cybershot DSC RX1 R2. The Sony Cybershot RX1 R2 is a full-frame 42 megapixel compact camera with a fixed 35mm f2 lens. It has a small pocketable body with a fixed lens, while it's a bit like a hybrid of a point-and-shoot, a mirrorless camera and a high-end DSLR. As far as its buttons and controls go, the RX1 R2 inherits from many of the other retro-style cameras that have hit the booth in recent years. It has old-style dials on top to select the exposure mode. The other buttons and dials elsewhere on the camera are pretty standard, while a few are programmable. A rotating dial on the back is the primary means of navigating the menus on the screen. Additionally, the RX1 R2 has a built-in viewfinder that pops up from the left side and falls down into the camera's body when not in use. While it does have some impressive overlay tools and it's bright, you can see it as a whole you'll really enjoy using it. As mentioned earlier, performance-wise, this camera has a 42.4 megapixel full-frame CMOS sensor with a variable low-pass filter. The lens is a 35mm f2 Carl Zeiss lens and it has built-in image stabilization. It all amounts to superb image quality of the kind you expect from a high-end DSLR. Sony image sensors are among the best in the business and the one they've put in this camera is among their very best. So, as you can see, you'll be well supplied with everything indeed. Also, the lens has a macro switch on the front of the lens, while the minimum focus with the macro setting is 7.9 inches. Furthermore, this camera is very much geared to still photos, but it does have video capabilities since it has a high resolution of 1080p60, from which you can recall both a high-quality XAVC format video at the same time as an MP4. Definitely a nice touch. Overall, if you're looking for an all-rounder camera that performs excellently in many fields, this would be your ideal choice. And at number one, it's the Sony Alpha A9. The Sony Alpha A9 is a professional and premium full-frame mirrorless camera that combines an excellent build quality with numerous functionalities. It'll change your perception of how powerful one camera can actually be. 
From a design perspective, the Alpha 9 boasts a lightweight magnesium alloy body, which is at the same time moisture and dust resistant, so from now on weather conditions won't be a problem. In addition, this unit has intuitive strategically placed controls because Sony's intention was to make your user experience satisfying and straightforward. You'll never have problems while navigating through menus or while adjusting the settings. At the back, there's a 3.7 million dot OLED viewfinder, which translates in 1280 by 980 pixels. And if you find this too cool, well, what about a refresh rate of 120 FPS? Alpha 9's viewfinder is a real beast. Below the viewfinder, you'll find a 3-inch tilt-angle touchscreen with 1.44 million dots, making both screens together really, really nice. Moving on, the connectivity ports consist of a micro USB connector, an HDMI micro Type D out connector, an external microphone input, a headphone socket and dual media slots, so you won't be left without storage. But let's talk about performance. The Sony Alpha 9 comes with 24.2 megapixel full-frame Exmor RS stacked CMOS sensor, whose main duty is to ensure an exceptionally fast readout speed, especially when shooting UHD 4K video recordings. But that's not all, the sensor will also let you extend the ISO range to up to 204,800, while maintaining the original quality to the highest level. All in all, this means noise is not an issue. Finally, I'd also like to mention that the Alpha 9 comes with the Bion's X image processor as well. And what's interesting about it is that it supports a continuous shooting speed of 20 FPS for up to 362 consecutive JPEGs or 241 RAW images. To conclude, the Sony Alpha 9 is a must-have because it's capable enough to elevate your user experience to a whole new level. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.